Well, welcome to the Lynn Life, everybody, and happy St. Patrick's Day, right? We're actually shooting this the Friday before St. Patrick's Day, and we're going to make Irish soda bread. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. Well, for St. Patrick's Day, we decided we're going to make some Irish soda bread, but there's a reason why. Because um, well, Lynn is, first of all, sister. yeah, your sister's uh, birthday is actually on St. Patrick's Day, but we want to talk about your Irish heritage, right? Your grandfather, Thomas Brown, yes. was born in Tipperary, Ireland. So you're very, very Irish on your father's side. On your mother's side, they were actually, they always called themselves Ruthenian. That particular area of the world is actually in Ukraine. It's actually in the western Ukraine. Under a lot of crisis right now. But we're going to focus on your Irish heritage today. And since the plan is, is for Justin and I to go to your aunt's house and pick up some stuff because she's moving out of that house. We're going to do that on Monday. We thought it would be a great idea to make some Irish soda bread, or Lynn make some Irish soda bread, and we'll give it to her sister for her birthday, along with a card. Right? That sound good? Yeah. Yeah. So, Irish soda bread. It's a very dry bread, so you're going to want to eat this pretty quick. So actually what we're going to do for her sister, we're gonna, I'm going to freeze this. I'm going to give it to her frozen so that it's still good. Oh, we got Lynn on a stool with a back on it. A little bit easier for you so you can work so Irish soda bread's pretty dry uh, you definitely want to eat it with butter stuff like that the butter that we're using what is that Kerry gold Kerry gold pure Irish butter that's what we're actually using today we got a couple of these right and the butter we put on the bread when we eat it will be this keeping with tradition so we're gonna start out with that's four cups of flour we're going to put it together all our dry ingredients and then we have other ingredients here and you're going to put that in that's all that's salt sugar and baking soda and let me give you yeah let me give you oh you need something to whisk it okay so lynn's mixing up the dry ingredients all right, we're going to do that, and then we're going to move into the good stuff, the fun part, and that's the wet ingredients. And this is four tablespoons of the Kerrygold butter that I softened in the microwave, and we're going to put that in. And then, then guess what you get to do? What? Not a mix it. Yeah. By your hand. Yeah. Get in there. Get in there and start both, use both your hands. That's why I have you. I'm going to wash my hands here a little bit. Keep mixing that. And then I'm going to, we're going to put in an egg and some buttermilk. Okay. Got an egg here. You got to get that pretty good. Get that all mixed up. Don't get it all over everywhere else. How's that going? All right, so Lynn, you're going to put an egg right in the middle. Very good. I'll take that, set that aside. You're going to mix that. We're going to need um, one and three quarter cups buttermilk. Got some buttermilk here. You have to shake buttermilk, you know. So I'm going to put the egg in. Now I'm going to put one and three quarter cups of the buttermilk. I think that's done with the ingredients. The fun part is the dough. We really get in there and start kneading this. It's what? pretty simple ingredients in uh, Irish soda bread. There's no yeast or anything like that 
just the flour and the butter and the milk. Buttermilk, uh, baking soda, sugar, like that. What are we going to get into mixing it? Okay. Also I want to mention is before I start making this into complete dough, I'm going to, it says you could add raisins, currants, or something like that. So I decided to add a sort of a combination uh, fruit medley, which has dried blueberries, raisins, dried cherries, and um, uh, what are they, uh, oh, cranberries. So I'm going to add that in there too, so that'll be kind of interesting. A little bit different. Lynn's not a real big fan of just raisins. And Lynn's going to cut an X in the top. But before we do, we want to talk about some, one other thing. You had a visitor yesterday. Yeah, a kitty. A kitty. A friend brought over her uh, new kitten for Lynn to visit. And I have some footage of it. Isn't that cute? And you enjoyed that, mm -hmm. right? You enjoy animals and you had gone up to the stu the root farm too earlier that and rode cruiser and saw some other animals so it was a good day for for seeing some animals right okay so let's do a cut right across okay good kind of tough it's very sticky <laughs> we're trying to do it Okay, I'm going to cut another one. And this supposedly allows... the inside of the... of the, of the Irish soda bread to cook. Okay, so are we good? No, you can't eat any of those. Is that what you're going to do? You, no, we're not eating that. No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it in the oven now. How was it? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 for about 45 minutes. Well, the Irish soda bread is complete, right? It came out good. Yeah. It's bigger than we thought, so we're gonna, we cut it in half. We're actually gonna give Mary about half of it. it we, uh, we actually tried a little bit of our side, you know, our half, and it is uh, it tastes good. It's very dry. Definitely needs butter. We didn't try it with butter yet. And I definitely like the dried fruit in it. That definitely works out good. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is our herb garden. It's growing on, you probably see it in the shot, and it's uh, doing very, very well. Right? Yep. And on, we were talking about St. Patrick's Day and what to have for dinner. Corned beef and cabbage. Oh, do you like corned beef and cabbage? No. No. That's the problem. See, Lynn, as Irish as you are, you don't like corned beef and cabbage. So we're not going to have that. What is it we're going to have? I can't remember what it's called. The. Um, Shepherd's pie. That's it. We're gonna have shepherd's pie for St. Patrick's Day. Wait, you gotta stay put. We're gonna have a. We're gonna put a close on it. Okay. We're gonna have shepherd's pie for St. Patrick's Day. All right. Okay. And what, what do we say at the end? We'll see you. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we'll After see you. After a while. Crocodile. Crocodile. How about we'll see you next time on the limb.